When's the best time to buy a car? It's the age-old question from car buyers trying to find a way to gain advantage over car dealers. The answer lies in this question. When are car dealers most hungry to move inventory? Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as the Homework Guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? This video brought to you by YouTube's best channel on car buying and selling, courtesy of the Homework Guy team. It's another round of super high intensity training for car buyers we are known for. If you like the Homework Guy videos, check the merch shelf down below. You can sport some of the swag like this one. Car buyers are always looking for a way to win. And as anyone knows, car dealers are a pretty tough crowd. Is there a best time to buy a car? The simple answer is yeah. yes, as in when you need one. However, there are multiple times throughout the year that car dealers are most hungry to move inventory. And you might as well know when that is. Time it right and you could find yourself making a deal that puts a smile on your face. Are there many theories on when the best time is to shop for cars? Of course there are, and there is a bit of truth in most of them. Our mission today is to make sure that you know about all of them to give you the best chance to capitalize on a great deal. All of this information will have an impact on new and used cars because as new cars move out of the lot, trade-ins always increase, happens every time. This important information is coming next, right after this short message from the Homework Guy team. If you're a first timer on the Homework Guy channel, consider subscribing and leaving us a comment below. Add hashtag the Homework Guy if you'd like a response directly from Kevin or one of the Homework Guy staff members. We're always glad to help our loyal followers and the best part is there is no charge. You can also email the team at info at with a specific question or if you'd like a free contract review, just black out your personal information and send it to us. We'd love to hear from you. Just be aware that we do get a lot of requests, so just be patient while you wait for a response. Back to you, Kevin. The best time to buy a car comes at multiple opportunities throughout the year. Generally speaking, the later in the year, the better the deals get. We'll start with an overview, and then we'll get into some details. First, end of the model year. The next year's models are coming to the lots. End of the calendar year, as in October and November, and December is even better. End of the month. The closer to the end of the month, the better. End of the car's design cycle. A redesign and new features are coming and they want the old stuff gone. End of the car's life cycle. The vehicle's done. Manufacturer pulled it from the lineup. If these cars are still on the lot, the dealer wants to be done with them. Here's a number of holidays that can be good. President's Day, Memorial Day, 4th of July, Labor Day, Black Friday, and of course, Christmas. Some days of the week that are better than others. Monday or early in the week, you get better service, more attention, and a sales staff that isn't too bogged down with others. Dealers like to see cars move on the early days in the week. All right, let's dig deeper into the end of the month. As month end approaches, it's all about the quotas. This is true for both new and used cars. Month end at a dealership is like the fourth quarter in football when all the magic seems to happen. Dealers want to close the month strong. A new car dealer can have their next month orders impacted if they fall short. Think of that as a motivator with negative consequences for the dealer. Also, there are positive motivators. The dealer could be looking at significant bonuses from the manufacturer for hitting a given vehicle count out the door. If you show up at month end, the dealer could have a number of reasons to want to get serious about knocking down prices. Also, it's not only the dealer who's more motivated to move units, so are the sales staff. You may run into a salesman who's just one or two units away from getting his commissions bump into a higher pay bracket just by closing your deal. It's not unusual for a dealer to have a commission on units from 0 to 10 and then a bonus on units from 11 to 15, 16 to 20. 21 to 25, and so on. Those bonuses tend to be retroactive to the first car they sold for the month. Now how hungry are they to help you? Here's a tip on end of the month shopping. You have to get your homework done in advance. Do your test drives earlier in the month and make sure you've already talked to your own bank or credit union. And of course, watch as many videos right here on the Homework Guy channel that apply to your car deal. This is the time that if you snooze, you lose. And if you're looking at a really hot deal, it's quite true that it's unlikely to keep until the following month. You follow me? It's the one time I'm going to tell you to not sleep on it. If you did your homework in advance, you should be prepared to recognize a good deal, so be prepared to ink that contract when everything lines up for you. Now, let's talk about best day of the week to buy a car. Monday or Tuesday, 
basically early in the week. The level of service you're likely to get on those two days is generally always better. There's less foot traffic in the dealership as well, and fewer people calling in on car deals. Because it's slower, you have a better chance of getting your questions answered and more likely to find a salesman that is a little less pushy. Everybody likes that. More attentive to your needs as well. When the day is packed and the entire staff is juggling multiple people, it's easy for the dealer to have an attitude like, take it or leave it. When there's nobody there, they want you to take it and they'll work with you until you say yes. It's also less likely to be a four to eight hour day like a busy day can be. End of the calendar year. It is widely known that for new cars, either to purchase or to lease, the end of the year is most likely to net you your best possible price. Historically, it's always been true. If you're buying a car, combine end of year phenomena with end of month tips we just shared, and you could experience a mix of motivators for the hottest deal of the year. While October and November should be considered year-end months, nothing quite compares with December. It tends to be the biggest discounts off MSRP and the most amount of incentives, including dealer cash. You often have a lot to choose from in December. And as well, inventories tend to be higher than too. All of these factors and a lot packed with cars and you have a motivated dealer. Are there important holidays for savings throughout the year? Yes, three-day weekends are often good. Watch for the flags, balloons, big signs, and inflatable monsters come out at the dealerships while they claim rock-bottom prices are here. Expect busy showrooms on each of the following extended weekends and holidays. President's Day. February is the month with the smallest discounts off MSRP, so it isn't necessarily the best month to buy. However, auto shows are also happening at this time around the country, and all of them have rebates and incentives attached as manufacturers are showing off those new cars. Memorial Day. This is the official kickoff of the summer buying season and is often a solid time to get a deal. It's also when you have the largest selection of current year models to choose from. If you like to see lots of options and pick up those rebates and incentives, Memorial Day weekend is a keeper. Fourth of July, the incoming models for next year have started to show up and they are making dealers a little bit nervous about the mix of current year models on the lot. Fourth of July is the beginning of what's coming in the months ahead as a dealer will steadily become more assertive about moving inventory. Labor Day. This holiday is in a unique position because it is the sweet spot of selection and competitive pricing. You won't find the lowest bare bones prices, not yet, but there's more selection than year end and rebates and incentives are very strong. Black Friday. It's the biggest retail shopping day in America. You're familiar with those crazy lines and campouts that people have been known for? The craziness happens on dealer lots shortly after Thanksgiving. In recent years, automakers and dealers have been offering more and more incentives and discounts and those things known as doorbusters as a means of capturing some of that retail spending fervor. Black Friday is also a clear end of the model year, so expect to see deals on the outgoing models left in inventory. If you want to shop on Black Friday, you've got to start your homework early. If you're trading a vehicle, get a proper value established for your current car. We have videos on this channel that deal specifically with trades. Talk to your own bank or credit union and get pre-approved for an auto loan if you plan to finance. Take a few test drives. Also, pay attention to the fine details of any Black Friday deals you see coming out there. Then, be ready to wade through a bunch of other people. It gets a little nuts on Black Friday, including at dealerships. Finally, Christmas. Of course, this video would be incomplete if we didn't mention Christmas and pre-New Year's sales. Let's see. This is the last holiday of the year. Check. It's the end of the month. Check. It's the end of the year. Check. If I need to say anything more, you've been sleeping through this whole video. Here's how rebates and incentives generally impact each month throughout the calendar year. The least amount of rebates and incentives come in January, February, March, and April. Things pick up in May, June, July, August, and September. And the best months of the year are always October, November, and December. December is the king of the hill. While it's true that this information largely pertains to new cars, keep in mind that used car inventory benefits because trade-ins are always up when new cars are moving. I said that early on. I'll wrap up with a few lesser known timing opportunities for you. End of the model year. This incentive comes into play starting in August and increases steadily as Black Friday approaches. Current year models are being thought of as leftovers because next year's models started trickling in a month ago. Every automaker will do this a little bit different, but the mixing of old and new works in your favor. 
dealers have begun transitioning their lots and manufacturers started offering big bonuses to dealers who get the current year models down the road. End of the car's design cycle before a redesign. If you're hearing that a given vehicle you're looking for is getting a great makeover and you either like the current model year or you don't care much about the newest bells and whistles, a redesigned car coming out could create some serious saving opportunities for you. End of the car's life cycle, a discontinued model. Manufacturers will announce that they are ending production on a given model. It happens all the time. There's plenty of potential for bigger savings. You should know these cars will depreciate significantly, however, when discontinued. But if you plan to keep it for a while, that doesn't make much difference in the long run. One caveat to know about this. Just make sure you know why the manufacturer is pulling the plug. Are there a ton of problems with the car? If so, you should pass on it too. However, some of you are old enough to remember when GM dropped Oldsmobile from the ranks, and yet that was one of the most solid cars on the market. Years ago, I bought one of the 99 Olds 88s. It had 90,000 miles on it. It was a great runaround car. We put over 200,000 miles on that car before it was turned in for a smash-up derby. Somebody had that fun with it. Reliable, tough as nails, and tons of those cars still on the road. GM just couldn't carry Oldsmobile between Cadillac and Buick anymore. Right now, Ford is dropping the Endura SUV also because sales are low, so that might prove to be a good deal for some of you. As our return viewers know, there's an abundance of outstanding car buying videos right here on the Homework Guy channel that you can learn from. Check them all out. We've done a ton of work to help you, so use the resources we put out there for you. All right, if you learned something today, consider giving us that big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Make sure you use hashtag the Homework Guy. Share on social media with your friends and family and join us on Facebook and Twitter too. We post notifications and other updates on our social media sites and answer car buying questions there too. If you love what we do and you want to say thanks for the tip, well, the PayPal and Cash App links you see here will be easy to find in the description box down below. If you can't do a tip, no problem. You can say thanks by sharing our videos with your family and friends and by encouraging other people to subscribe to the channel. That's huge. It's one of the most important things you can do as a loyal follower here on the Homework Guy channel. We appreciate everything you do to help us get the word out and defeat those bad guys in the car business still hanging on who haven't learned that fairness and honesty is the best business policy. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter. Take care everyone.